and it, it accomplishes that it definitely does i uh, getting into it a little bit here yeah, the 3.5 V6 is solid. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all new 2023 Honda Ridgeline, but not just any Ridgeline. This Ridgeline has some pretty cool accessories on it. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. They have this one available for sale, and then they actually have a bunch of other options, including some HPD additions. So if you're looking for a Ridgeline, Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah is your dealership to go to. Link to them in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for John. And then on a side note, if you want to save time money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 280 horsepower and then 262 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end of the Ridgeline, I do want to mention that if you want to see more reviews just like this, then I'd recommend that you subscribe because I post content every single day on a massive variety of cars. Now, going over the front end, you guys can see we've got these really distinctive body lines on either side of the hood. And I love this metallic gray. It's kind of like a bluish gray. It's definitely really cool, especially when the sunlight hits it. And then you guys can see the chrome strip all along the front. And then here's a quick look at the lights here on the ridge line and then you guys can see the grill with the honda logo front and center and then we actually have our turn signal indicator down below and then we have a fog light down below that and then you guys can see the rest of the bumper now the ridge line normally has like seven point something inches of ground clearance with the options on this particular one we have closer to about eight ish inches of ground clearance which is actually really solid Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 265, 60, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And you guys can see with the wheels, it's got that cool metallic gray. Now these are not stock tires. This does have some aftermarket goodies. You guys can see just how aggressive these tires are. These are the Wild Peak all-terrain tires if you guys are wanting really solid uh, tire overall. This also does have a two inch leveling kit added to it as well, just to get a little bit more ride height. And so yes, it is a lifted rich line. And then you guys can see here with the fender flare and then the bodywork on the side. And then I really like these side steps. Like you guys can see super like grippy. So yeah, that's really good, especially for like winter conditions. And then here's our full side view. And this thing looks killer with the tires and with that two inch level kit, it really works well for the truck. So here's a key fob for the ridge line. You guys can see Honda logo there on the back. We have our unlock function, lock function, and then remote start as well. And then popping into the bed, we have a payload capacity. And by the way, you gotta like hold that all the way down or else it'll just thud down. Anyways, payload capacity, 1,477 pounds here with the ridge line. Towing capacity is 5,000 pounds, which is actually pretty solid uh, truck numbers. And then you guys can see here for the cargo tie downs and there's lights here in the bed. But obviously we gotta go over what the Ridgeline's famous for. So just lock the tailgate into place and then you've got a handle right over here. So it swings open like a barn door. And then you have another handle here, which by the way, you can lock this. And this is the Ridgeline's like bed trunk thing. Notice we've got the spare tire. And popping that down. I love how people used to make fun of the Ridgeline for this stuff. And now we got, you know, automakers like Rivian that are uh, copying the Ridgeline with the features they have. So yeah, interesting. Finishing things up with the rest of the rear, you guys can see here with the taillights on the Ridgeline. And we have our all-wheel drive badge, Ridgeline badge, and then you guys can see here with the exhaust tips poking at the back. And if you guys are wondering with the all-wheel drive system, this is Honda's super advanced all-wheel drive system, which I actually was able to test with the new Passport Trail Sport, and it's actually pretty dang impressive. And so this all-wheel drive system with these tires means that this Ridgeline could pretty much go everywhere. And also look at the little roof rack there at the top. So here's the door panel in the rear. You guys can see with the padding, then notice the stitching that goes across. And I love the two-tone design. And it actually matches with the seats. Notice perforated all down the center portion. And you guys can see with the handle, you can pull up the seat and you got more storage underneath the seat. So tons of practicality built in. Now getting in, you can pretty much just slide right across even though this is taller than a regular ridge line. There's leg room. There's my messy face in the headroom. And you guys can see with the you know, storage pocket. Got some vents, some more storage space down below that. 
and we have our cup holder armrest situation. Let's head to the front. So here's our front door panel. You guys can see again with the padding and the stitching here. And then notice our window controls front two are automatic. And here's a quick look at the mirrors. We do have memory seats. And then let's just open up the gas cap. And then here is the front seat. So you guys can see again, perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments here on the side. And here's the pedal layout down below with a little parking brake and then the hood latch release. And then we've got our lane departure. We have this for collision assistance, and then you guys can see there with the stability control, cargo light, econ mode, which is like your good fuel economy mode, and then the mirror adjustments. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. Now here's the steering wheel for the Ridgeline. You guys can see the padding all around and then most of the stitching is the well, same color as the steering wheel. And then we have like our normal practical controls in the steering wheel. Key features, we do have steering assistance and adaptive cruise control. Paddle shifters here on the back for that nine speed automatic. And you guys can see with the voice command, phone controls, all that normal stuff. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and there you go. So here's the center gauge cluster. You guys can see that, well, mostly analog. We do have that screen there in the center which shows you different bits of info on the Ridgeline. Pretty straightforward stuff, right, that most modern cars will show you. Um, other than that, I can pop it into the econ mode. Notice that that will pop up. And then we do actually have uh, some more drive modes. So we have a normal snow, mud, and sand. Uh, notice it's for the traction system. So it basically lets the vehicle know what you're in so then it can adjust properly. So here's the center infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera, which trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you guys can see the different viewpoints here with the camera system. And then as for the rest of the infotainment screen, first off we have these like shortcut buttons here on the side and then you guys can see the main screen. Now this is obviously not Honda's most modern screen, right? So we're probably not gonna get a new screen in the Ridgeline until they do a full redesign on it. But you know what? It gets the job done. Now down below we do have our climate controls and notice that you also have the climate zone there for the rear, pretty fancy, right? But dual zone here for the front and then we do have heated seats for the front as well and then some storage space right here and then more storage space down below kind of like in our charging area and then yes this does have our whole button system for the transmission select drive mode select right there auto stop start and then you got your cup holders and then that's with our little lid for the center console and then there are more charging uh ports inside there which is pretty nice and then pretty normal glove box frankly and notice that, uh, you know, from a material standpoint, like the seat's really nice, but the rest of it kind of more of a utilitarian appearance. And then popping up top, we do have our sunroof here. Controls to the center, pretty normal place. And then, look at that. <laughs> we got the little Mia there with the sunglass holder. So here's our window sticker for this Ridgeline. This is an all-wheel drive RTL, if you guys are wondering. And it's pretty much everything that we went over is standard equipment. We have a base price of 41780 This does have a few options added to it, including the function package and then the utility package as well, which the utility includes like the uh, side steps and then the roof rails. Total MSRP on this, 44945 Now this does have, obviously, some accessories added to it. Um, so you guys can see that here on this little sticker. So that whole like leveling kit tire situation, $54.99. Total MSRP, $50,643. Let's see what happens when the Ridgeline decides to hit the gym. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors. Throughout the rest of the rear and Let's set off. Setting off in the new Ridgeline with this whole uh, level kit tire situation. And first off, things great about the Ridgeline, sorry, that was my tripod, <laughs> is the fact that, well, it's unibody with independent suspension. A lot of people made fun of the Ridgeline for a really long time because of that, but guess what? That means it rides smooth, maneuverability is great, and now everyone's copying it because you got know, like the Ford Maverick, same exact formula, Hyundai Santa Cruz, same formula. I know the Rivian R1T is a fully electric pickup truck, but like, again, pretty similar formula. It seems like everyone's going, hey, Honda figured something out. And well, now they're kind of building on that. Um, but this does drive more like an SUV than it does like a truck. Like you do have the truck bed, obviously, tons of practicality there. 
but it doesn't have normal truck driving manners, which I don't think is a bad thing because again, like I said, it means that it's smooth from a ride quality perspective and handling maneuverability is great. Uh, it's easy to like just drive around, like fit in parking spaces, all that kind of stuff. So you get the benefits of a truck from a payload and bed perspective, but then you don't get the downsides from a maneuverability perspective and all that. Now, this nine speed automatic is a really solid transmission. Um, pretty smooth. I wouldn't say that it's like sporty by any means, but again, that's not what the Ridgeline is going for. It's going for, you know, smoothness and efficiency and it, it accomplishes that it definitely does i uh, getting into it a little bit here yeah the 35 v6 is solid again this is in the kind of like mid-size truck segment in terms of the size right so it, it, it's right where it needs to be from a power perspective yeah, so smooth and like when you go over things it just does not this does not care at all so um, with the lift, I will say that I think, that, I know it's kind of expensive, but I, I think this is definitely worth it because the handling isn't ruined at all. It does feel like it, you know, absorbs things a little bit better because those more aggressive tires, but it just looks so much better than a stock Ridgeline. Like this just, this looks so good. And then, you know, from a practicality standpoint, the biggest thing is this all wheel drive system can take you places that a lot of times the tires on a stock Ridgeline cannot. And so these more aggressive tires definitely just help out a massive amount. So here's the deal. Honda gets the last laugh because everyone for the longest time made fun of the Ridgeline because they're like, it's not a truck, it's not a truck. But now, like I said earlier in the video, everyone's copying this. And still to this day, this is such a great uh, offering. Like you, you basically, like I said, you get SUV comfort and truck practicality all built into one package. This gets good fuel economy. Like it's, it's a it's a great vehicle overall and i think it's even more exciting when you lift it let me know what you guys think about this lifted ridgeline that's gonna sum things up with our video here on this new ridgeline again a huge shout out thank you to the stockton 12 honda here in utah for giving me some time with this ridgeline check out the intro in the description down below if you have any questions just ask for john i'll see ya